Hello friends. In this video, let us solve a problem on passive earth pressure for CPI soils. First, let me draw the retaining wall and then the soil properties. Let us consider a retaining wall. Oh, sorry, it is not. Let me rewrite it. Let me redraw it. Let us consider a retaining wall and uh, the backfill is truly horizontal and let us consider the properties of the soil sir. Cohesion will be equal to 20 kN per meter square, phi will be equal to 30 degrees, gamma will be equal to 20 kN per meter cube. Okay, And the height of the The height of the retaining wall, let us consider it as a 4 meters. And in addition to that, we are having some surcharge on the top of the soil, and the magnitude is 20 kN per meter square. Now, here we have to find out what is the passive earth pressure. Here we are having uniform soil. If it is uniform soil, first simply find out what is the passive earth pressure coefficient that will be. 1 plus sin phi divided by 1 minus sin phi. If you substitute phi equal to 30, then you will get Kp will be equal to, sorry, Kp will, you will get it as a value 3. Now, if it is a passive earth pressure, what about this stress at any point Pp that will be equal to Kp into sigma v plus 2 into c into under the root k. Okay, now at top, at top of soil, what is the vertical stress? If you see what is the vertical stress, uniform such as is there. So vertical stress is nothing but a 20 kN per meter square. Now substitute in the equation, what is the passive earth pressure? Kp is nothing but a 3. Vertical stress is nothing but a 20 plus 2 into cohesion is given it as 20 under the root 3. If you find out this value, then you will get it around 129.3 kilo past. What about at bottom? At bottom most layer. What about the vertical stress because of the surcharge and also because of the unit weight of the soil. Because of the surcharge it will always be constant plus because of the unit weight gamma into what is the height of the retaining wall? 4. So if you solve this what is the vertical stress? 20 into 2 80 plus 20 100. Isn't it? Now. Sorry. 80 plus 2100, right? So, what is the passive earth pressure? That will be equal to Kp3. What is the vertical stress? 100 plus again this constant 2, C value constant, and under the root 3. So, if you solve this, you will get it around 369.3 kilo Pascal. Now, draw the pressure diagram. So, what is the total height of the retaining wall? 4 meter. At the top, what is the earth pressure? That is nothing but a 129.3. At the bottom, what is the earth pressure? That will be 369.3. Now, join these two lines by inclined line. So, this is the passive earth pressure diagram. Passive earth pressure diagram. So, if you want to find the total magnitude, then find out the area. What is the area of this? A plus B by 2 into H. That means 129.3 plus 369.3 divided by 2 into height of the retaining wall 4 that will be equal to if you solve this you will get 997.2 kilo newton per meter that means if you take one meter length of the retaining wall you are having in password pressure of 997.2 kilo newton similarly as it is in the form of trivial shape you can also find out the where this passive pressure will act okay thank you